Welcome back to another Mad Human Pizza video. This time the cruise control speed control module will be replaced, removed, and installed. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Okay, disconnect your negative ground wire to your battery and on the front rear left portion left portion of your vehicle you have this device. What you'll need is an eight millimeter socket and I have a extent extension bar with a 3 8 inch drive <clears throat> to put on there just like so we get a little closer all right okay let's get that bolt out of there just like so there you go now. And now on the other side there will be little tabs. You pull it out. Let me show you. There will be little tabs. <clears throat> Two of them right back there. So let's kind of pull this out and then come right out. You zoom in on those tabs. I may need a flashlight. Yeah, see those tabs? Well, not really tabs, they're like two. Um, pointy things and they go into this hole right there they go into this these holes right here see that isn't that cool so she said okay what might be the, the coolest raddest electrical the electrical electrical connector on the vehicle is right right here so just flip this tab back screwdriver flathead to pry it out I just use my finger but so just pry this up, pry that out and look at that I think it's because it's red it's got the cool red line going on it's got the cool red electrical electrical connector going on right there just look at that that's freaking amazing now you got this line right here and if you trace the line it goes all the way Two. And just trace it. it. Goes all the way around the vehicle, and ultimately it goes into the cruise, cruise control accelerator. <clears throat> We're going to f figure out what this is as soon as we get this beast out. Type the numbers in the search engine and figure it out. Let's get to it. Okay, to be able to pull this out. I'm going to need some more access, so I'm going to take this off right here, so I got a little drill bit, I'm not sure what number it is, they actually I do, it's a T, a T, T as in thunderstorm, 25, a T25, so I put that on there like, like so, and get this off there, get that out of the way, and see that I can, I can move that around. So let's let's get to it. Let's do it. So that buys me a little bit of a room, a little bit of wiggy, wiggle room here. Eh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need more. I'm gonna take more of this off. So I'm gonna work around, take off the next screw, which is probably. Oh, look at that! Look at that! I didn't even mean to do that. Probably that one. Or that one, so let's get that one. Okay, so get this out of the way. Just, you know, move it out of the way. Make sure it doesn't fall in the battery terminals. And just get this part right. Get this next. So, notice I have plastic gloves on. Ah, oh, such a tight fit. Alright, get that out of the way. Now, pry this up. See how far it pries up. Try again. So let's try this again. Ow. There you go. Now all that's left to do is just look at this part in all its glory. See what's up. Yeah, you can take those off if you want. And then there's screws on each corner. And then there's this apparatus right here. It looks like it can be pry pried off. Okay, now 
this you want to remove this the speed control this is a speed control cruise control module but you want to remove the speed control actuator cable slug <clears throat> gently push gently push actuator cable spring using a small screwdriver so use a small screwdriver and you're going to want to push this so you got the speed control servo servo pulley right here in the speed control actuator cable wire right here speed control servo okay check this out so right here actuator cable you want to push this in gently as you're pulling the whole thing so push that in and it goes over past that tab and you're able to pop it right off almost all the way off now you have this to contend with there's a cable inside there look at that cable that silver cable can come right off right there see that then you pull that right off all right okay i don't want to pull it off because i want to put it back together so that's how you remove remove the apparatus and then here's how you install it so just put it reverse removal installation is reversal of removal so get it all down the bullet holes in the car anyway you want to push this down there's a tab you want to get it just the right place back to where it was and it's very interesting to do there we go so we got that and then now it slides back in and now you want to put it back into place so Okay, just want to slide this right back down in here. Yeah, you can take these off if you want. I might. You know what? I might take this apart. You know what? Since we're here, nah, let's put it back. Alright, we're going to put this thing back. But you can get the... Look at this, look at this. Just get you a pack. Look at that. Get you a pack screwdriving. All these, these engineers hate these. Manufacturers hate these because you, the do-it-yourselfer car owner, you buy a bag like this and get all this stuff, they hate you because you can fix your car yourself. So keep watching Matthew and Pizza and I'll keep showing you how engineers, engineers are. They're not very smart. Not as smart as they think they are. So let's have smart. Alright, so get this back down in place. There we go. Alright, remember how remember how it went down here? There's a screw area where it's screwed in. I don't even remember where it is. Back back in here somewhere. Don't forget your cool electrical connector. Get that up and out of the way because you're getting ready to snap back in place but i'm lined up the screw hole down there so now plug this cool thing plug the plug this bad boy back in so let's plug it in shall we oh, excuse me. all right want to hear the snapping sound oh come on snap snap crackle pop snap come on Oh, it's not snapping. Come on. There we go. I used a screwdriver. I pushed it to help me. I pushed it down. I don't know if I got that in camera. But anyway, got that on. That's all on. And the next thing to do is... Uh, I'll put these on last. But there's a screw down at the bottom. It's 8 millimeter. I got a long extension because I just wanted I just wanted to use it. Flip that over to tightening mode. Get your screw, put it down on that bolt. Let me get you down in there. Okay, you are there. Okay, before you screw that hole down, screw down. You want to put this. You want to slide that back in the tab. Slide that back in the tab. 
right down here. Remember how you had to slide it out and in? See how it slides in and out down there? Slide that in and that'll line up. That'll line up that down there. Put the screw down in there. Put the screw back in there. And put the screw back in there. And then connect your battery back up. Positive first. And then connect your negative up. And you're done. So if you have any car questions, just visit the Mad Human Pizza channel. Right after I get done sliding down this slide. Okay, we got a shiny new bolt. Got a shiny new bolt down here on there. Got that on there tight. Got the whole cruise control module on there. So next time you have car questions, just visit the Mad Human Pizza channel. There it is, nice and shiny. I got that bolt, it's eight millimeter, off somewhere else on this vehicle, I'm not sure where. Cause I dropped the other bolt, it fell down in it, down in there into, into the abyss. But anyway, there it is in all its glory. Speed control, cruise control, servo. Servo.